Hello and welcome to the special edition of Logo Connecting Bharat. With the economy on the move up, some of the biggest brands and companies in the country are looking at rural India for the next phase of growth. From being considered a poor country cousin, rural India is perhaps the most happening part of the country. And for the first time, the government, instead of getting brickbats for farming out SOPs and subsidies, it is being credited for creating a whole new market. That's right. Rural India is expected to take centre stage once again in this budget. Which is why on Logo we are focusing on rural marketing, wherein we will bring to you two half-hour specials on the hinterland. That's right. In our cover story this week, we tell you how companies from across sectors like FMCG, consumer durables and even unlikely sectors like direct-to-home are strategizing for the rural market. Have a look. Think rural marketing? Think van campaigns, a badly made cinema commercial and a few wall paintings. Well, not so much anymore. From being considered a poor country cousin of urban India, rural India is now thriving and continues to for many reasons. Much of this has to do with the launch of the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme in 2006, which promised employment of at least 100 days to every member of a poor rural household in areas like digging canals, putting up embankments and land development. That apart, the government raised the minimum support price of key crops like wheat and paddy. Add to that, the last few years have also witnessed the construction of several millions of rural roads, which has helped farmers to take their wares to bigger markets, consequently fetching them better prices. Another boost for liquidity among farmers came from the farm loan waiver the government carried out. All this has caused the rural consumer's disposable income to grow handsomely. Around the same time, the global economic meltdown began to take its toll on the economy, which in turn slowed down the urban market in India. While housing, consumer durables and automobiles felt the heat right away, there was massive downtrading in sectors like FMCG as well. As a result, rural market specialists found themselves in demand. Jagdeep Kapoor of Samsika Marketing Consultants has inquiries pouring in on how to tackle the rural market. The client's objectives have e expanded. If the client said, I'd like to you know, attack metros or I'd like to attack class one towns, over the last 10 years, 15 years, we always encourage them, don't lose sight of the rural market. So many of the clients would listen to us. Some of them would say, we'd like to do it in phase two. So many of their objectives have expanded, encompassing the rural market also. The second trend which has happened is there are clients who are coming in only for rural markets. The rural and semi-urban markets already account for 60% of FMCG sales in the country, while just as many consumer durable sales come from these markets. And now, even unlikely sectors like direct-to-home, which was primarily an urban phenomenon, is seeing a spurt in sales from rural areas. You know, uh, this is one of the mindsets which a lot of people have that poor rural India customer right now can't afford anything. It's all about the value perception you give. The value definition for somebody sitting in urban India might be different from what's happening in smaller town or rural India. And as a company, what we people have done, we have designed a lot of products specifically keeping in mind rural India customer. Shripad Nadkarni, the founder director at Marketgate Consulting, also strongly believes that products need to be specially devised for rural consumers. I think uh, the mindset of rural being a watered down urban, uh, you know, uh, as a package needs to go away. Uh, for too long, manufacturers and marketers have looked at rural as small packs, uh, great price points. I think you need to look at rural because the rural rich is an emerging segment which uh, has the uh, buying power really. So products have to be designed, uh, packages have to be designed. I'm not saying entirely new products, but uh, you need to relook re at uh, the rural consumer, see what drives them and design for them rather than designing for urban and trying to sell in rural. To that end, Tata Sky is using its interactive applications like gaming and its learning tools to push rural demand and the move it seems is paying off. The All I can say right now that the mix is very fast changing in favour of the smaller towns in rural India and that's where the growth is going to be coming from. According to Godrej's Executive Vice President Ashutosh Tiwari, the bottom line is clear. Customers in villages have their own set of aspirations and are willing to shell out money for it. Even a rural person feels like indulging herself or himself. 
because he or she is doing better in life today than he or she was doing yesterday and he or she feels that they deserve it. Nowadays, promotional campaigns too are specially designed for the rural market. When marketing to the rural consumer, Tata Sky for instance does a lot of on-ground demonstrations and promotions. And Tata Sky isn't the only one. Many other companies are opting for alternative distribution channels to touch base with the rural consumer. Hindustan Unilever, for instance, tied up with non-government organizations and self-help groups to employ underprivileged women who could be taken on board as saleswomen in villages. The move worked remarkably well for the company. Not to be left behind, auto majors like Hero Honda and Maruti Suzuki deployed sales executives in rural markets. Why, even general entertainment channels are using rural settings and backdrops in their daily soap operas to pull in viewers. Simply put, rural is the place to be. With the boundaries and rural and urban fast disappearing, going rural is something one cannot ignore. Time now to head into a short break, but don't go anywhere. On the other side, we get you Rama Bijapurkar, one of the most well-respected thought leaders.